Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Hello, listeners to Business Innovators Radio. This is Andy Curry, your host. And boy, do I have a show for you today. I'm really excited to bring to you Maria Guida, who has been speaking professionally for 25 years. I'm excited for you to hear her background. The content she speaks on is about helping business people speak with the poise, passion, and persuasive action of a Broadway actor. Yes, you heard that right. She speaks primarily in the U.S. Maria is based out of New York. And she has two books in the making that I'm going to get her to reveal some details on that. And Maria, welcome to the program. Thank you, Andy. I'm thrilled to be here. We are thrilled to have you, Maria. Let's talk about your speaking business, who you're talking to, what is it you're teaching them, how are you helping them. Would you please uh, tell us about that? Absolutely. I'm very happy to tell you all about that. Well, I help people to speak with the poise, passion, and persuasive power of a Broadway actor. And I think, as you know, uh, uh, your listeners may be interested in hearing that I worked as an actor on Broadway television and film and had the great fortune to work with Paul Newman and James Earl Jones and Kevin Kline. And I learned a thing or two about persuasion with authenticity from these wonderful, wonderfully talented people. So in the corporate world, I work with leaders, and I find that um, many do not communicate with each other across departments and divisions. And uh, my clients learn to communicate, and they learn strategies that build and strengthen relationships. I also work with sales professionals. Uh, I find that many of them need to upgrade their ability to focus on what's important to the audience. And my clients learn how to use their tone of voice and their demeanor to connect and engage. I also work with customer service professionals. Many of them need to learn how to listen more effectively and empathize, and my clients learn how to listen better, help conversation partners feel heard and appreciated. And I also work with the numbers people, and many need to provide clear and concise analysis to senior management, and my clients learn strategies to turn industry-specific messages into the language of the C-suite. Andy, these these clients often report results such as improved productivity, better meetings, enhanced ability to speak with clarity and conciseness and persuasive power, increased trust and projection of goodwill. So really it boils down to enhancements of the competitive edge, Andy, and this is a a, a result of a greater ability to influence. You know, um, of all the speakers I have interviewed and there's been a bunch. I've never heard something like this. This is a very unique niche you have going on here. Now, how did you start doing this? What uh, what made you go, wow, there's this thing I need to do? And and did you did you morph into this or did you immediately start doing this? How did that work? Well, I started as an actor on Broadway and television and film. And sometime in the mid, oh no, I would say it was the early 80s, sometime in the, I'm get, I have my dates mixed up a little bit here, sometime in the late 80s, New York University approached me and asked me to teach a course in presentation skills for leadership development. And I began teaching that course at New York University. And I also had taught theater classes, speech, improvisation techniques at NYU. And they asked me to teach a business course for business professionals, which I began doing. And interestingly, people from the corporate world started coming to my classes and demonstrating that while they had great expertise in their niche field, they did not communicate effectively. As a matter of fact, their delivery style actually jeopardized the projection of a polished and professional image and jeopardized their ability to persuade and inspire. 
And so I thought, wow, there's a need out there in the corporate world. So I started my own business in 2002. That is awesome. Now, can you give us an example of, of something you would teach a, a business executive to be uh, more persuasive in their action? Yes. One of the things that I do is to give the number one most powerful technique that actors use in order to build belief. You probably heard that the Harvard Business School did a study of successful speaking. They found that a small percentage of your persuasive power is based on your content. The majority of your persuasive power is based on your visual and vocal delivery, how you inspire belief within the listeners. And actors know how to do this. Actors spend years honing a craft that's designed to build listener belief. So I have taken some of these strategies that actors use and I have adapted them for the business environment. And one of them is the use of acting objectives. And so I teach my clients to take their notes or a script if they have one uh, or the material from their PowerPoint slides and approach it the way an actor approaches a script. And this, this is to create the strategic delivery of any message so that they know exactly what they need to do physically and vocally in order to let their message land effectively and build belief within the listener. Okay, so what when you say approach it this, as a script like an actor would do, how would they do that? So they do that by dividing the script up into sections and deciding what exactly, what behavior or what feeling they want to elicit in the listener for each specific section of their talk. It doesn't have to be a script, it could be notes. And then they pursue that objective with full energy and commitment. And this has three benefits. Number one, Pursuing the acting objective uh, gives you energy and focus because it allows you to put your energy toward your listener. It galvanizes your energy toward your listener. So it makes you immediately engaging. It's the fastest and most powerful way to project energy, commitment, passion, and poise. Uh, the, 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 another thing that, another benefit of this is that it streamlines the process because it gives you just one thing to think about each step of the way in every section of your talk. And finally, it's a completely organic way to let your body language and your voice support your content. It lets your body language and your voice and your content become one unified message, a seamless message. And when you speak, this gives you greater impact and it delivers, it gives you greater power and, the, and, and it delivers greater impact to the listeners. Another strategy that I use for people is to help them to reduce their use of fillers. When people say, um, uh, you know, they often communicate nervousness or that they actually cannot support their recommendations. When my clients want to more effectively communicate with the leaders in the C-suite, one of the things that they must do is be able to put out an opinion, to express an opinion, because the leaders want to hear an opinion. They don't want to hear all the nitty-gritty details. They want the speakers to get to the point quickly and make a strong recommendation. So when clients of mine are working on this particular topic, I help them to focus on making sure that they can deliver the message with a strong opinion, getting that strong opinion out. Now, in order, oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I was, I was just going to say, may I add one more, one more thing? Oh, to please that? do, please do. What I wanted to say is that when people use fillers, um, uh, so, you know, uh, all of these fillers, the executive in the C-suite immediately gets the impression that that speaker himself or herself doubts that there's enough evidence to support this strong opinion. I never thought now, about that. That may or may not be true, but that's what, that is the message that gets projected. So I give a strategy that helps people to reduce their use of fillers. 
Are they you, can practice. Okay, are you willing to share that strategy? Oh, absolutely. And this is a wonderful, wonderful, and enjoyable exercise. I tell people to set a timer, a minute, two minutes, and to record themselves speaking in extended sentences on a topic of their choice. Choose a topic that you know well, something that you enjoy speaking about. And as you speak into the recorder, imagine that each word that comes from your mouth is connected to the next one, which is connected to the next one, which is connected to the next one. The way pearls are connected on a string of pearls. And when you feel the urge to use a filler, stop yourself pause and say that filler silently to yourself. Yeah, then that's great. Play back, okay. Then play back the recording and monitor yourself for fillers. And as you start to feel more comfortable with this, expand the time so that you're speaking for five minutes, seven minutes, nine minutes, until you can speak extemporaneously on any topic of your choice for 20 minutes straight without the use of fillers. I guarantee when you practice this over time, you will find that you are reducing the number of fillers that you use and you'll sound more authoritative. That is a great tip. Thank well, you for sharing that. You're quite welcome. It I'm gonna, works. I'm going to practice that myself, by golly. Wonderful. Now, um, you have spoken to lots of groups, and I'm sure after you've you've gotten done that uh, people, you know, you're you're felt so good because you had really made a an impact on somebody, and you've you've made lots of impact. I'm sure. However, what one sticks out in your mind where you just kind of sat back and thought to yourself, "Wow." I'm really helping. I, I love this. What comes to mind? Well, what comes to mind is feedback that I received from a gentleman who received my training called Enhanced Your Leadership Presence Through Acting Improvisation. In my career as an actor, I did a lot of acting improvisation, as many as many actors do. And one of the most beneficial things that people can do in order to be flexible with their clients is to do acting improvisation. And what it does is it helps you to engage, build trust, deepen personal connection, and it helps you to be flexible enough to address the changing needs of existing clients. One of the gentlemen who attended my last program called Enhance Your Leadership Presence with Acting, Impre acting Improvisation came to me and said, wow, I used to think that acting and improvisation was a kind of lie, and now I believe that it's the best way to make connections with other people. Interesting. Now, what, what if um, somebody, I mean, if you're so busy, you couldn't help someone, what would you recommend to them to do until you could help them? Take an improvisation class, maybe? Well, I think that taking an improvisation class is wonderful. Taking an acting class is wonderful. Taking classes in any area that is going to build your confidence as a speaker. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Now, uh, I bet you listeners are going to be thinking... Does she have a course or an audio CD set or something I could learn from to get started? Do you have anything like that? Yes. First of all, on my website is an audio download, which uh, gives some techniques. So people can go to www.successfulspeakerinc.com, and there they will find a link uh, to the audio. I am about to put out some CDs, some teaching CDs that people can use, and also I am in the process of writing two books that I think will be very helpful for people. Okay, now we, we had mentioned at the beginning in, in the intro to talk about the two books. We've got a, a few minutes left. Uh, would you care to reveal anything about that? 
Yes, the first book is connected with breakout session that I do when I speak for organizations. And uh, in fact, I just came back from San Francisco, where I spoke for the Meeting Professionals International World Education Conference, and I did my breakout session called "Speak with the Poise, Passion, and Persuasive Power of a Broadway Actor." And here, my point of view is that whenever you speak for business, you're on stage. So I share actors' performance skills that help professionals enhance their leadership presence and persuade their listener. So the attendees learn how to enhance their professional image by using vocal performance and demeanor to project authority and authenticity and approachability, how to influence and inspire listeners with that powerful technique that I talked with you about earlier, using acting objectives. So the participants learn steps that they can implement immediately to focus the mind for high impact and strategic and persuasive delivery of the business message. And that's exactly what that book is about. The keynote address, uh, as I may have described a little bit earlier, is one where I discuss valuable business lessons that I learned as an actor on Broadway and film when I worked with Paul Newman and James Earl Jones and Kevin Klein. And I received the kind of advice that's useful not only for actors but for business professionals as well. So the keynote combines memorable lessons that I learned with monologues that I do and a couple of songs. I am also a singer. And it provides a motivational, inspirational session for audiences who want to generate business with authenticity and approachability. And that key, uh, th those components in the keynote are what that particular book will be about. Awesome, Maria. You uh, you are a busy lady. You're high energy, and I, I I could sit here and talk to you forever. But I want to thank you so much for pulling back the curtain and showing us what's going on with your business, your life. Uh, very very interesting. I've I've never heard um, this content mentioned before, and that's been a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you very much for having me on the show, Andy. Now, now uh, I want to remind people, if they want to get a hold of you, how do they do that? Well, they can email me, maria at successfulspeakerinc.com. Maria at successfulspeakerinc.com. I call my company Successful Speaker Inc. because I am committed to helping you become a successful speaker. My phone number is 718 718- Eight eight four two two eight two seven one eight 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 four two two eight two, and I'll be happy to speak with anyone in your audience who would like to talk about how they can enhance their leadership presence with acting techniques, acting improvisation techniques, or even more traditional approaches. Okay, well, fantastic, Maria. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Andy. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.